So, and it then just added the perplexity node. And no, this isn't just some random update. This is a big deal because it means that now your AI agents can finally look things up on the web in real time, give actual sources and stop making things up. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add perplexity to your workflows, how to plug it in into your AI agent and why this changes the game if you're building smart AI automations. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through step by step, but just quickly, as you can see earlier, I just searched research the current news in Los Angeles and provide the citation for news articles, only two news articles, right? So it went and gave, gave me the latest uh, uh, news in Los Angeles, which right now there's some crazy protests going on and it gave me the sources, the summary, and then also the other news as well. So this is the type of stuff that it has the ability to access, which is current data through the two, whoops, I made a mess here. Uh, through the tool here and then also you can add this directly into your AI automation. So let's go ahead and uh, build this thing out and I'm going to show you how to connect this so that way you can get started right away. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zubair. I run a uh, AI automation school community where we teach you how to learn NADN and most importantly, how to earn with NADN. I have an entire AI agency, launch your AI agency, how to make money with AI automation course where we have a daily progress. It's a five week program. We provide you everything you need to start making money with AI and automation. And then also we provide uh, all of the resources that we use in our AI agency, like how to budget, how to price your automations, and then a bunch of other tools, including case studies that we work with clients. So if you're interested, make sure you check it out because our community is amazing. We have a great group of people, over 950 people who are there to collaborate with each other. We have calendar section that we have daily calls that you can jump in, ask us any question, regardless if you're a complete beginner or experienced, you'll be able to find a ton of resources in there. So make sure you check out the community. I'm going to put the link in the description. Hope you all see you inside. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to get started fresh. By the way, first thing is you need to make sure you're in version 1.98 uh, latest beta uh, or late. I mean, you can even, I think it's in the 1.97 latest stable as well. So either one, make sure you are updating your NADN. And if you don't know how to do that, please check out my previous videos where I show you exactly how to step by step, how to update your NADN. Uh, but anyway, so the way to know is like if you click on add a node here and we search for perplexity, you should be able to see this particular one, right? So let's go ahead and add that message a model. There you go. So this is what it looks like. So this is where you can add this perplexity node inside your workflows. And then I'm going to show you also how to add this to your AI agent. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you step by step how to add your API key so that way you'll be able to use this inside your workflow. So the first thing you need to do is uh, obviously add this perplexity node. Then you're going to go inside, click on create new credentials. So this will take you to a place where it's just going to enter API, your API key. And the way to do that is like all you have to do is just go to perplexity. Oh, not perplexity API actually. Just search perplexity and make sure you log in. Obviously, you have to have an account and then you will go to your account right here. So go to my account and then you're going to go to on the left hand side, you're going to go to API keys. Uh, obviously, you have to have some money in there, but if you just put like five dollars, that that's plenty, right? Uh, so if you go to a API keys, all you have to do is click on create key and this will generate a new key for you. And all you have to do is just literally copy this, come over here and paste it. That's all you need, right? So I'm just going to get rid of it because I already added. And then now you should be able to have access to your all the models that are available. Obviously, Perplexity has a lot of great models, including the Sonar Deep Search, Sonar Pro. But I've used Sonar and Sonar Pro. They're amazing. So that's how you can get connected directly to uh, to your um, API directly from your Perplexity. And then afterwards, you also have the ability to add this to your AI agent. So if I get rid of this. Let me get rid of this too, so that way we can add AI agent. So I'm going to click on the plus button, search for AI agent. There you go. So now you will be able to add this as a tool. Obviously, this is not a chat, uh, you're not your chat uh, model because it doesn't have um, perplexity, but you can use like OpenAI or something like that, right? So I'm just going to use OpenAI 4.1 mini. And then you can add this as a tool. That's a great thing here, right? So if you go click on tool, search for perplexity, you say perplexity tool, you're going to click on this. And now, obviously, when you added your API key, this should automatically load that account. But essentially, now you'll be able to use this as a tool. So I'm going to select sonar. And the great thing is now you can just click on let the model define this parameter. So that way it will automatically grab it from uh, as you're interacting with this AI agent, right? So that's a great thing about it. So now if you want to test this, let's go ahead and click on chat. Pull this up a little bit over here 
I'm just going to search the same thing. Say research current news in Los Angeles and provide the citation of each news article. So if I click on that, now it's going to do is use their OpenAI chat model to obviously make sense of the, the query here that's coming in from the user. And then now it's going to use the perplexity to bring in the AI agent is going to use the perplexity as a tool to bring in all of this information that's uh, happening in LA area, including the sources right here. So that's how you can easily use it. Obviously, this is just a very simple use case, but you can you can use this inside your AI agents. For example, if you're scraping the internet uh, for any kind of data, that this, this is where the huge use case comes in. So let's go ahead and take a look at that as well. So if I, I've already, I already did this once on my community. So let me go ahead and bring that up. I think it's this one. Yep. So I'm just going to download this template so that way you can see how we were using this before. So let me get rid of this and import this from file. Okay, so this is what I was using it before. We had to reach out to the Perplexity API via this HTTP request node. But essentially, you know, you can utilize, for example, um, articles and you can search real time data. So, for example, if you're uh, updating your database or a customer information and you want to be able to search, uh, let's say you have a customer meeting, right? and you want to search information about your particular customer, get their LinkedIn profile. Uh, in order to do that, you need to be able to have access to live data from the internet. So before, in this particular case, I was using this uh, news article workflow that I created, but essentially you had to reach out to the Perplexity API. You had to use your authorization and API key. And in the bottom, in the body, you had to define exactly which model you're reaching out to. And then you had to provide the prompt and then also, obviously, in this particular one, like I said, I was summarizing the following article in detail and I was providing the article link. So now, instead of typing all of this stuff out, the great thing is the only thing you need to do is now add your perplexity node here. So if I search for perplexity, message a model. And now the great thing is you can directly reach out and grab the resources instead of like typing it out like we did earlier through the um, the JSON body of your HTTP request, you can now directly add that to your text, just like you would if you're interacting with your OpenAI chat model, right? So very, very simple. It makes it very, very easy. Like I said, huge use cases for this would be if you need any kind of research, whether it's about current data for particular articles for your social media. And also, like I said, if you need to scrape data live from the internet, uh, like look up information about a particular customer. So one of the use cases for this would be if you're building a summary of um, you know, a customer interaction that you have had and you want to update your CRM with the most updated information and research uh, information about that particular customer, then you can add this perplexity node that automatically does that. So this is huge. And like I said, this gives your automations and your AI agents the ability to access live internet data. And like I said, you can do a lot of things with this. So Again, feel free to check this out. There's going to be a lot of things that you can build with this. And let me know in the comments below if you wanted to have any particular use case. And obviously, like I said, you can use this inside your AI agents to make it even more powerful. So that way you have access to live internet data. So, all right, well, this was a quick video. I wanted to just give you an update and show you how to connect this. So that way you can use this inside your workflow. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, because I've got a lot of great content that's upcoming. And again, if you are serious about learning AI agents and NADN and how to monetize, make sure you join the community. Hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.